Yes. Well, here's a question for you. Do you have a will? If you don't, you should think about it, especially if you are older. Tonight, we continue spotlighting a Charlotte organization making a difference by helping seniors in the Beatty's Ford Road corridor who don't have access to these types of services. WCNC Charlotte's Bill McGinty joins us now. Bill, you watch this good work unfold. Yeah, good work is an understatement here, Fred. You know, having everything buttoned up in terms of a will or maybe a trust, it safeguards your intentions and it protects the future of both the family and really your neighborhood. Charlotte, North Carolina has been a city on the rise for decades, but the beginnings of that success story were penned years ago in some of our most unique and historically black communities, places like University Park in the shadow of Uptown. And these pictures are from 1960. That's Donna Fant, and that handsome couple is her parents. Photos taken out on the town a very long time ago. Today, Donna lives in the very same house her parents once called home. It's now an asset to be handed down, so it stays in the family and stays in the neighborhood. This is home. This is home. My father bought this house in 1963. And man, I remember him complaining about the mortgage. It was like $97. And so <laughs> at that time, that was a chunk. So now that it's mine, I don't want to let go of it. I just think it's gorgeous. I think it's beautiful. Alicia Brown runs For the Struggle, a new charitable organization that helps seniors stay in their homes. Let me grab her. A civil rights lawyer by trade, she helps these older people fend off developers and flippers by creating estate planning for them free of charge. Someone may think $80,000 in cash is a lot of money when an investor knocks on their door. Right? And so what we've been doing is we've not only been creating wills, but we've also been creating trusts whereby, you know, our seniors can can put their homes in a trust so that when they transition on, the home cannot be sold. It will have to remain in their family. And it's important because especially as black people, a lot of times we don't do that. We just assume that things are going to be taken care of. And I found out down through the years when my parents passed away that it was good to have something in writing to say who gets what. A family center is the home. Homes make up neighborhoods and neighborhoods make up communities. Donna says this one is worth fighting for. But if we can keep it in the family and pass it down as, as an heirloom or a legacy, then that would be powerful for those coming up behind us. Powerful indeed. Black Enterprise Magazine noted in an article back in 2015, it said that 70% of black Americans had no will or no estate planning and that black wealth was at risk because of that. Without official documents like a will, assets like homes and property can move into the courts or worse, public auctions. Fred? Wow, what a treasure that family has. Bill, what a wonderful report. Thank you.